you know. And so I just pray that your character can keep you, you know, where your talent is taking you. Because your talent is going to take you guys so, so far. And what I would love to see is us, you know, 20 years from now, uh, playing my mom, you know. And y'all can't get through the airport. You can't get through the city, you know, because you've been such a blessing to people that they they trying to hold you up. They like at the gate waiting for y'all and we got to sneak y'all in, you know. So I just pray, man, that the Lord just continues to bless you guys with unity, with love, that nothing comes between y'all, nothing separates y'all. You know, because God has just been so kind to y'all, so gracious to y'all. Uh, I appreciate the whatever, but it, I, I had nothing to do with it. Um, it was God that brought us all together. And my family is getting an opportunity to benefit, you know, from what God, the seed God planted. Whatever y'all say that was, it's become fruit for me and my family. So whatever that one little small uh, seed was, now we got a fruit tree of, you know, Toby and the gang and the family. And we got, you know, uh, I don't want to say, I'll say grandkids. I don't know if my wife want to go there yet. We can say older aunties and uncles. So, Didi, you know, Didi don't want to hold on to the auntie thing for a minute. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man, I just pray that God continue to bless y'all. I just don't know what else y'all can do. Y'all have done so much in 2020 when the earth was dry and void and full of division and darkness and sickness. And you guys just turned your lighters on. You know, you turned your light on and just was a beacon of hope, you know, for the world, man. I remember laughing when I saw the kid from Africa. I don't remember what part it was, but he had y'all same background. He had the same gear. Fat was a little old. Fat, baby fat was a little older. You know what I'm saying? Baby fat was a little older. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, you, you, you know, people call me like, "E man, can you believe that they copycat?" And I said, bro, "That's like Jesus coming on Earth and saying, whatever I give out, you can't mimic. You can only watch it." No, no, no. When Christ came, he other people saw what he was doing and they mimicked that. So when I saw my man from Africa doing that, I was just like, yo, what a sign of the light has traveled throughout the world. And they're taking the light that they see you guys doing and trying to mimic it in their own community. So yeah, hats off to you guys, man. Hats off. Hey, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. a million more words we could say. Uh, to honor Eve. We'll never have them all. Well, oh, no. Likewise. Just bring your butt back in. No more than six months. Get your butt back in. And get this whipping. Take this whipping. Take this whipping. Take this whipping. No, hey, leave, leave, leave your little Christianity at the at the, at the <laughs> rack and sit your butt out and take this spanking, y'all. If you ain't on my team, you about to take a spanking. Y'all almost took my. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Right, 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 right. Hey, I heard we had to do some marital counseling with you and Corey. Oh, yes, absolutely. We <laughs> no up. question, no doubt. Blessings, man. Kiss the babies for me. Blessings on the release and. Uh, Again, may you guys not have enough room for all the blessings that God is about to bestow on you guys. Love you. Love you too. All right. Take care, guys. CJ, I'm next. No, we good on CJ. Tell C, we talk to E. We good. Oh, uh, see, 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 see. I didn't say that. See, oh, oh, I didn't say that. Tell C, we got the hip hop freaks. We don't need. We don't need the, uh, the background. We don't need the background. Come on, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. That's hilarious. Come on, come on. She's going to get out of here, Johnny. He's going to be like, nah. She's on it. She's on it. He's already back. He's back. Sad. Sad, for real. Let me tell you something. I didn't, hey, I didn't been bumped for most celebrities. I'm like, hold on. Uh, Swiss coming on. We'll get you next. We got a UFC champ in the building. I'm saying, golly. I done, hey, I done waited in uh, shorter lines at Cedar Point and uh, Six Flags. Oh. Golly. See, see, that's not hey. me. I want you to know that's not me. Hey, <laughs> listen, how, how y'all want to play? Y'all want to play it silly or we going to talk for a second? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me know. I'm here. I don't even got time to vote before. Real quick, before C say anything, I don't want to See, really feel like that was him. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, let's go 50 50. <laughs>
Hey, I got receipts. <laughs> I got receipts. <laughs> Let's go 50-50, see? Let's uh, go 50-50 real, 50, uh, 50, 50. 50 real, 50, 50 play. 50 real, 50 play. Right. Hey, talk your talk, see? Talk your talk, see? Hey, man, um, you know, I'm just glad my son has achieved levels. You know what I'm saying? Y'all may not know I'm Toby's father, for real. You know he said father figure was inspired by me. Hey, listen, though. Let me, can, can, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm on here, so let me drop a quick word. So when we started this thing, I seen Toby's ability, right? And so I told him, yo, I give you $1,500. Um a month just to focus on rapping. Like, don't focus on nothing else, just rap. And he was like, all right, bet. And so I probably paid him for maybe eight months. And we had our first event, and it was in Connecticut. And I was like, yo, you're going to open up the event. We got a 1,000 people coming there. You're going to be the headliner. You're going to open up. Nobody, Mind you, nobody knows who Toby is. So we get to the show, right? Me and E there the night before. We get there. We're doing walkthrough. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, man, showtime in about an hour. Anybody heard from Toby? Nope, no Toby. Can't find him nowhere. I'm calling his phone. No answer. So finally, the show get ready to start. Now, mind you, we 10 minutes off the show, and I'm making ad-lib decisions like, all right, cool. I put somebody else up. I didn't even know who they was. I was like, yo, just go up. <laughs> Terrible. And so the show got started rough, whatever. I don't even know. I forgot about Toby about two hours after the show started. Toby walks up to me backstage and he could see. I'm talking about like, I, I was boiling. I, I, out of control. Now, mind you, I ain't have millions of dollars back then. We just grinding, trying to come up. And I'm paying this man 100. And I asked him to come open up the show. And he told me, he came up to me and said, Yo, you ain't going to believe what Delta did. <laughs> He said, you know, how, you know how they say they only closed the gate 15 minutes before? I got there 16 minutes before the flight, and they already had it closed. And I told Toby, I said, look, man, I, I'm going to let you slide this one time, but I don't ever want you to make another excuse again in your life. Like, that's something broke people do, bro. Don't ever make an excuse. And if you understand that you never make an excuse and don't ever anticipate somebody helping you for real, you'll be fine. And I promise you, since that day, Toby was like, bet, I got you. And most people, you let that break you. Toby was like, yo, I got you forever. I'm rolling. No excuses. Let's get it. And I'm, I'm just looking at the manifestation now. The boy ain't made one excuse since. He ain't have a whole lot of money. He have a big budget. Nell didn't have a whole lot of money in the big budget, fat, of course. And y'all came in, man, and y'all killed it. So here's the no excuse making. Proud of y'all, man, for real. And uh, from, from, from supposed to be opening the first conference to, you know, headlining your own concerts. Now, uh, proud of you, boy. Uh, see, and, and, and I and watch this. I, and I, I didn't know. I be joking and stuff, and like trying to like uh, shade, see that uh, yeah, uh, real, real full uh, extent of the appreciation. But C really is like if uh, if E is the yin, then C is the yang Absolutely. for what has uh, like really made me what I am. C C really C truly helped me understand. I was gonna tell you for a long time I didn't even like C and I didn't even know him like that because I'm like if, if <laughs> C is the reason why this dude is in my face the way he in my face, facts. then I was facts. like, facts. <laughs> well, big be, facts. Then you should be even more appreciative. <laughs> yeah. Because it could be way worse. <laughs> yeah. It could be how C was talking to me. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a family friendly lie. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But watch this though. C truly helped me understand. I really, everybody that's on this live now, I hope you can understand that what he what he said is very true. Broke people are the ones that make excuses. Yeah. And and today is a prime example of that. Mm -hmm. Now, we had an illustrious plan. Absolutely. We about to go live on everything. Facebook live, YouTube live, everything live. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't working 10 minutes before the stuff. So rather than say, oh man, let's, let's, why it in. Uh, let's blame everybody. Mm -hmm. Let's blame everybody except me. I said, you know what? I told people we're going to go live. So I'm going to go live on just one of them, and then we can do whatever. We can get up to post it on it yep. and do whatever. Because I told people I was going to go live, and I'm not going to blame nobody and make no excuses. We're going to live in whatever capacity we can go live at this time. Now, we can do the other stuff on the back end, but it's like, it, it, it's the truest thing that C has said. There's, there's going to be no excuses. 
across the board. It's the single most thing that you need to operate. So yeah. Like you saying, like it don't matter what happens. Get done what you say you're going to get done. No, that's true, man. And uh, Toby, man, just seriously, man, to see the gift. For those of y'all who don't know, uh, he was just freestyling in the car. And I told him, uh, I said, listen, man, if you could do all of this and you never even worked at it, that's a gift. Your gift is something God wants you to do, something that comes easy to you that's hard for most. Your passion is some foolishness you want to do. Your gift is what God gave you. And so what you saw was what Toby's natural gift was and this work ethic y'all see every single Sunday and uh, the results speak for themselves. And you might look at him and say he got lucky or he's an overnight success or maybe they, you know, the guy was just signing the sun on them that day. The truth of the matter is, man, if you get inside your gift, man, and work like this man work, work like they work, you, uh, these results are possible for you too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out of here, man. Y'all get Diddy and Beyonce and Hove in here, all right? All right. <laughs> Love y'all.
it was it was simmering in the in her eyes, but it ignited after meeting you guys. And so you you couldn't tell anything after that. Oh, no. You know, I'm able to be the freestyle queen, period. You know. Um but the impact that you guys made on her life um was phenomenal. If she if her physical body was on this earth right now, you couldn't tell she would be popping wheelies in her wheelchair. She would definitely be standing up going crazy. You know, but the 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 love that she had for you all, the love that she had for every project, every move you made. My mom double joking said and, and they are doing it. Yeah. You know, and of course I was always trying to be cool and, and I was like, no nah, mama, don't do that. Don't do that. But I appreciate what you meant to her. And more than that, I appreciate what you all are doing for Houston. Period. What you're doing for Southwest Ailey, um, the message that you, you you're holding up for for our community of people is phenomenal. And you know the the dialogue that you put of, of me on on the album was one when Amber was in a dark period in her life. And I speak this to anybody. You, you constantly are focusing on the negative things that are going on in your life. You miss out on so much. The negative part is just a, a, a minute part. And the, the, the positivity that you all are bringing to the world right now, especially in the times that we're living in, yeah, it's unreal. It's unreal. So you guys know I love you. And you guys keep doing what you're doing. Keep loving on the culture. Um, keep loving on us as we're going to continue to love on you. Um, anytime you need me, call me. I I I I'll cook up some a good meal for you. You can sit down and 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 watch Amber and listen to uh, her freestyle. And thank you for putting her on the project, for including her. Oh. Uh, yeah. Because that's one thing, like, even when you guys reached out and said that you wanted the audio, that was right there. Man, she that was... That made our, our whole year. Yeah. Honestly, just hearing her voice on that project and her going crazy, that... <laughs> I want to thank y'all and share my flowers. Oh, yeah. And really feed y'all some love. Because that, you didn't have to do that. But that just shows how loyal to the soil you are and how real you are. And that's just real. Period. I appreciate that. We love you so much. Uh, so much. We, gonna, we, we, got, we got some other stuff uh, coming up in the future plan, but it, it's an honor to have Amber on the project. It was an honor to be able to see. To, to just uh, be with y'all through that whole process, man. And, but, but let me just let me pay pay my respects real quick before I, before I, I don't want to hold you too long. But life is about choices, yeah, and, right. my, and mama, you made a decision every single day to be right beside and beside for how many years? How many years was it? Oh wow! Four. I mean, literally, when she was diagnosed at ten. Yeah. I had to, yeah, I had to make a decision, and uh, you know it was like corporate America or my family. Yeah, and people thought I was foolish when I walked away from a job that a job that was paying me good money. When I walked away, people thought, "Why would you do that?" When I tell you the commitment to family was far more important, so it was. Amber didn't ask to be brought to this earth. She was brought to this earth for a purpose. And so I had to. I did what a mother was supposed to do. Now, and, 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 and I got to just go above and beyond it to, to, to say that that not only in, more than inspired me, it, it let me know how it's supposed to go. Every single day that I saw you in, in, that, uh, in the home, uh, in the hospital, wherever Amber was, every single day, making a decision to, to speak life to Amber, yeah. to cook, to, to make a food, to 
changes she needs to be changed to help her learn how to walk again, help her learn how to uh, 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 feed again, speak again. Yeah. Yeah. Like that type of stuff can it really drain people. But you made a decision every single day that no matter how you feel, no matter what you got going on, you're going to put yourself aside and put your baby in front of you and make sure your baby can have the, not just exist, but have the best life that right. she can possibly have, even in the, in the midst of uh, her right. situation. So yeah. like, it, I'm forever indebted to you. Uh, oh. just see you, even when, when you're vulnerable, just be so strong, yeah. be so powerful, uh, be so loving, be so everything yeah. uh, to Amber uh, while she was here and why you didn't have to. Yeah. So, so we, we love you. We got some more stuff uh, in, in the works. Uh, uh, but I just wanted to have you on so people could understand oh. how, what, the, what those pieces of, 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 of the project are and how we are uh, going to forever pay homage uh, to Amber. And this is just a well, you know, you you made her dream come true because you know you couldn't tell she was the freestyle queen. You couldn't tell her anything. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Say it all. I'm gonna say all your mama words. Say all your mama words. I ain't mad at it. See, see, you. I keep telling y'all. You, she got it from her mama. She got it from her mama. <laughs> Take place here in a minute. I love you too. You guys take care. Yes, ma'am.